Staging chronic kidney disease is based on GFR, albuminuria, and the cause of the patient's CKD. There are six stages used to classify CKD based on GFR. G1, where GFR is greater than or equal to 90 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meters squared. G2, where GFR is 60 to 89 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meters squared. G3A, where GFR is 45 to 59 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meters squared. G3B, where GFR is 30 to 44 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meters squared. G4, where GFR is 15 to 29 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meters squared. And G5, where GFR is less than 15 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meters squared. But staging CKD also involves staging albuminuria. The degree of albuminuria is classified as A1, where the urine albumin creatinine ratio, or ACR, is less than 30 mg per gram. A2, where the ACR is between 30 and 300 mg per gram, and A3, where the ACR is greater than 300 mg per gram. Determining the cause of CKD may have important implications for prognosis and treatment, but be prepared to put your detective hat on. The cause of CKD is not always obvious but there are clues that will lead you to the right conclusion. When staging CKD, guidelines recommend determining the amount of albumin in the urine using the urine-albumin-creatinine ratio. Assay specific for albumin are more likely to be standardized and have better precision at lower values of albuminuria. It is also thought that urine-albumin-creatinine ratio is more sensitive, like a spotlight focused on CKD, and can be a specific marker of changes of kidney function, since some urine proteins are present normally and do not indicate CKD. Both lower GFR and higher levels of albuminuria are independently related to mortality, cardiovascular events, and how quickly patients progress to end-stage kidney disease. Integrating both GFR and albuminuria into the staging of CKD will provide more precise classification and more accurate prognostic information.